So I'm just going to show you an application of some of these tools and techniques using a, a topic. And the topic that I'm going to be working with is this one here, mobile phones and the spread of infectious disease in hospitals. So I've headed over to the library catalog at NUI Galway Library, and I'm just going to start with uh, one of the key concepts from that overall topic. So it's mobile phones uh, and the spread of infectious disease in hospitals. So, um, so to me, there's there's three sort of parts to that topic. There's mobile phones on the one hand, infectious disease on the other, and then hospitals would be the third kind of key concept. So I'm just going to start with one of those uh, concepts. The first one, I'll start with mobile phones. And I'm just going to type that in, keeping the singular mobile phone. And I come up with a, you know, a pretty vast uh, lists, list of results. We have 140,000 uh, results. Of course, it's a very general search. Um, if I was uh, starting out with this as a kind of a general topic, of course, I would need to refine my topic into something much more specific uh, in order to get something, you know, a list of results that makes sense. So, uh, but I have a more specific topic that I can use to refine this. Um, but first, what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn this into an exact phrase search because, uh, you know, I, I figure probably a number of these results are not very re relevant. Um, uh, because I haven't turned it into an exact phrase search. So I'm going to include the double inverted commas around there uh, and then do the search again. So I'm going to be watching this number of results here to see if they, uh, if they go down. And they do, it's actually cut it down by about half. So that's fairly significant. I still have a, you know, a vast list, it's, uh, really too many results to be particularly useful. Uh, but um, you know, I'll keep on, I'll keep on chipping away here. Um, in the context of the library catalog, if you go into the advanced search, um, you get the you get the, the fields, and um, so I'd like to focus this further by by uh, choosing to search for this in the title field um, rather than the default. So any field. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna make that the title field, and that's gonna you know really make sure that the results I'm getting are really sort of focused on this um, on this topic of of mobile phones. So again, I'm looking at the the results down here right now. I've got a little over uh, or somewhat over seventy seven thousand results. A quick search, and I go way down to five thousand eight hundred and sixty two results. So that's that's a lot better than one hundred and forty thousand results. Um, so now uh, you know I can I can try to start including some of those other uh, key concepts that make up my overall uh, topic and um, and I can you know I could start by trying to look at some of the the, the facets and look at um, the topic facet down here. So this is what I'm talking about. These little menus on the right hand side. These are these are you know sometimes called facets or filters, and uh, and I can just you know have a look there and and click on the ones that seem most relevant to me. So. I'm not thinking about uh, mobile phones in the context of, of engineering um, uh, or nor you know sort of generically about 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 well here we have here we have cellular phones rather than mobile phones uh, and I, I'm going to get to that issue in just a second um, but you know I'm I'm generally within this sort of uh, domain of medicine so I can click on medicine and just get the 853 results that are about mobile phones in the context of medicine. Um, and as well, I can use the filters to uh, uh, to focus my search to uh, to to results that are quite current or that are more current. So my the second result here is from 2011. Now this is probably a field that's moving quite quickly, um, and uh, so maybe I'm really only concerned with the the last uh, five years research. Um, so if I can just scroll down to this to this creation date menu here, and I could say, okay, well. I'm really not interested in stuff from way back in 1995. I really only like the last uh, five years of research, so I'll change that to 2014 or refine it again and get a much more sort of manageable set of results. Now, um, I'm going to scroll down though and see, okay, are these, you know, the results I'm getting here, are these relevant to my concerns? Uh, yes, they're all sort of about medical issues, but 
Um, it's not really about the spread of infectious disease uh, to hospitals. So, um, so the facets have been you know, somewhat useful, but uh, maybe not exactly what I've been looking for. So I'm gonna I'm gonna go um, and see what I can get by by adding more more keywords to uh, to the search rather than using the facets. So uh, I'm gonna you can see here that the filters again sort of synonymous with facets it depends on which uh, system you're using what it's going to be called filters or facets uh, they've been the ones I've used have been sort of collected at the top here I'm just going to X out of them I have to go back to my much more broad search and um, actually I'm just gonna I'm just gonna start with a whole new search I'll start all over again so uh, I will keep the uh, the exact phrase search intact um, I am going to, you know, even though I know that this is going to be a broad search, I, I noted while I was doing, you know, uh, a bit of that searching that, right, I'm reminded that um, there's another term that could be used for this. Mobile phones, uh, you know, people in, in North America tend to use the word cellular phones. So um, I would like to include that in my search, even though I know that that's actually going to broaden out the search even more. Um, so to do that, I'm going to use the Boolean or, and I'm going to include cellular phones. So I was just going with the singular. Cellular phone or mobile phone. So I'll do that search for mobile phone or cellular phone. So if you remember the uh, the exact phrase search for just mobile phone came up with about seventy seven thousand results. Um, so including cellular phone in the search and using the boolean or has broadened that out to about eighty five thousand uh, results. Um, so, um, but I'm gonna I'm gonna go to the advanced search to sort of build up uh, the search with my other key concepts. So, uh, what I'm gonna add at this point is um, the idea of infectious disease. Okay, infectious disease. Uh, and so, notice here that the um, that we have got two fields and they're being connected, you know, by this interface by the boolean and. So up here I've got the synonymous terms, the two synonymous terms. Uh, for that for that one key concept mobile phone or cellular phone then that's connected to the next sort of uh, uh, key concept uh, which is infectious disease um, and then to get uh, the uh, the concept of hospitals in there or uh, just keep it singular again the hospital uh, I had to add another line another field which I can do uh, and then do the search and come up with a reasonably reasonably manageable 980 results um, and uh, and again once I've got uh, once I've got that I can um, I can combine that with the, with the facets or the filters and say okay well uh, great once again though I've got some you know kind of stuff that's kind of older than what I'm interested in uh, so let's go to the 2015 through 2020 uh, and see what that see what that gets and um, so here we have, you know, here we have something that looks like it could potentially uh, be relevant. So the mobile phone is a vector for virus RNA, a link with the Ebola outbreaks. So that's 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 interesting. Uh, and then one down here, healthcare workers, mobile phone usage, a potential risk for viral contamination. So uh, very very relevant at this stage, uh, twenty sixteen, reasonably current. Um, so good, uh, some good results there. Um, I might decide. Um, so that's what the catalog. The catalog is very broad in scope, and uh, um, it, and I might decide that it's useful to go to one of the more subject specific databases. So um, I can do that. Um, and a lot of these sort of tools that I'm going to use or tool, tools and techniques are going to be very similar, uh, just within a, within a collection that's a little bit narrower in scope. Um, so we're going to go to Scopus, which is still a very broad database of academic literature, but nonetheless, you know, uh, a little bit less broad or somewhat less broad than the uh, than the uh, than the library catalog, which is bringing together uh, all of our databases, all of our um, you know uh, our, our books, you know, uh, uh, a broad expanse of all of our collections. So I'm just logging in here.
So here we are in Scopus. Uh, it's a multidisciplinary um, scientific database, um, but where I can do you know similar kinds of things. So I'm still working with that same um, overall topic. Um, and if I punch in mobile phone um, and then hit search, I'll get um, you know, a lot of results. Um, I can use the facets. In this case, uh, the facets or the, or the filters are over on the on the left hand side, uh, as opposed to the right in the catalog. That's just a sort of a design you know, thing, which can be different depending on what database you're using. Uh, and here, the um, I can change the currency. Uh, I can adjust the currency up at this up uh, near the top where they've uh, put this menu for a year of publication. Uh, I can use uh, the subject areas to focus down to medicine right away, uh, and so on and so forth. Um, I can edit the search to, uh, to include the double inverted commas for uh, the exact phrase search. And you can see under there in the example, they've, they've, you know, they've done that as well. So I can say, okay, mobile phone, uh, do the search, and then um, you know, I can see the number of my documents uh, reducing uh, as I've made it a more specific search. Uh, and then if I want to include those other concepts, um, by all means, I can use the Boolean or here uh, and add in the, uh, the alternative term cellular phone. And I can add fields to bring in those other, uh, the other uh, concepts that make up the overall topic. And hospitals, and then do a search. And um, so I've got 46 documents. It's a nice, tidy uh, little collection of documents. Um, and what I didn't uh, show there was that I can indeed also. Um, it's, it's telling me here that it's looking for these terms in the article title abstract and keywords. That's the default for this particular database. Um, I can adjust that to just look in the title. Uh, so the article title, I suspect that this might reduce my results down to zero, but uh, we'll see. Uh, well, down to 13, okay. Uh, so that might or might not be useful in the context of this, um, of this particular collection, which again is, is, is significantly narrower in scope than in the, um, than in the catalog. So, um, so that's just a, a, an example of how to use some of these tools and techniques um, using a topic in a couple of different information resources um, where you know, each one is gonna be similar in many ways. Um, uh, you know, uh, usually you'll be able to use things like facets and filters, uh, the Boolean commands, things like exact phrase searching, uh, but things like scope will be different and, and the way that they, you know, some specific ways and how they're arranged and the design and those kinds of things will be different. So it's just a matter of becoming a little bit uh, familiar with the databases and, and the specifics of how they work.